sucks. Uh, yeah. uh, you would have to translate that somehow in from uh, whatever the native language is back into the English representation to program it. Yeah. So when I just sent, uh, I put a, a, a link up uh, for my uh, Scratch and Arduino program, and that has uh -huh. blocks that are translated into Korean. Okay. Okay, I see the GitHub. Yes, and Japanese blog, uh, trans. Okay. So those were, uh, were trans, I believe the Korean is there. Is that true? Yes, Korean. Yes, yes, I got it. So, yes. Yeah. So what you would do is uh, you would, for Scratch, you would just change the language to Korean and then uh, you would select uh, the Scratch blocks to be in yes, Korean. Yes, right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The documentation, unfortunately, is is English. Um, I don't I haven't put anything up on the web. What I've been doing lately is I've been uh, my doc for the, the newer products. I put it up on the web, and then those can be um, fairly easily translated using the web tools. Uh, maybe this, this thing also. Okay, many Korean people use this. Uh, your works, your oh. uh, Arduino uh, S to A file. Yeah, so right, right. You you yes, can Matt. see the name of the your Korean friends, colleagues that are using it, uh, or yeah. not? Oh, you you discovering <laughs> many many people are using <laughs> your blogs and your work. Oh, yeah. great. Now you can do it too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, if you guys, if you want, if you're looking to do any custom uh, interface uh -huh. scratch for on your own, I mean, I can, I can help advise you with that. Uh, uh -huh. And they have there are two versions. One is the one that works with the offline scratch, which is what I normally do, and that's. Um, they use an HTTP interface. There's another one okay. that's online called Scratch X, and but that's a real. It's difficult to use. It's it's JavaScript, which isn't that difficult, but it has to be approved for publication by the Scratch team, and and they yeah. just never get back to anybody. So. Wow, I don't know. It is you work. Wow, amazing works. I, I don't know. I don't know this work. Wow. I think he's happy with Hello? this. <laughs> I, 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 wow. wow, amazing works. Yes. Many Korean people use your blogs and yes, yes, with Rardino, yes. Oh, amazing works. Hey, I know this works yeah, today. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. Wow. I don't know earlier your work, but I know today it it is your your work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're yeah. welcome. Wow. I've seen uh, some uh, efforts in China uh, trying to translate the the microbit with a larger um, uh, what you call lead so I, I posted that that one I've seen it's called Sinobit it's a it's a some kind of clone it, I don't know if it's working but uh, they you should could have Chinese characters I don't know if the South Korean characters are or similar, or no, maybe not. <laughs> I haven't tried it. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm Beatrice. Hi, Beatrice. Yes, I, I'm in uh, my new house. 
Uh, I just moved. I, 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 I show you what they are doing, my children. <laughs> they are just, we are just received. Uh, sorry for my. Uh, Hi, Beatrice. Beatrice is Italian uh, and now she's living uh, with a family in Sweden. Almost, it's uh, Anders neighbors for coincidence. No, not neighbors. Uh, I, I think it's a fi almost, fi almost. <laughs> about, about 500 kilometers. Uh. <laughs> so it's not really neighbor. No, not 500, we have 50. No, 500, I think. So uh, not neighbors, but. The two extremes of Sweden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So uh, let uh, Beatrice. We are talking about uh, we put in contact South Korea and, and New York. Uh, we are talking about the amazing work uh, Alan's do to an important person in South Korea. Certainly, it's going to be very important for the next steps he's going to take because he's in charge of doing this implementation this changes developing everything like this and for what he he's getting i think it's very important and very useful so i'm happy that you both show up here today yes thank you that was uh, what we're talking about, Beatrice. And now, uh, Anders was talking about something about microbit. You are now involved in this board, isn't it? You are trying, you... No, no, I've, uh, I haven't tried this Ranking. one. I've just seen, <laughs> seen it. Someone uh, made it, made it, and they're selling it. To, I think it's very cheap. They're selling it outside of China. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried. <laughs> I could see if it, uh, oh, you you could shop in in U.S. dollars. So maybe. And I think there were uh, uh, GitHub uh, uh, as well for this one, Cenobit. Okay. Um, and there's, but you have uh, uh, not this special feature you mentioned but you have been working with microbit you have been making some tries that you talked to us yes alan wasn't with us so you oh. could tell something what was your impressions about it yes where, where, where should i put it it's it's a only a small project in a class for uh, uh I think think there are 15 years, 15, 16 year old kids, and we just used the make make code block uh, programming. Uh, there, we are trying to do something with uh, automation or uh, steering systems, and uh, they have a, a little project. They could do uh, almost everything within the borders, of course. Uh, but uh, today, the last day today, uh, they were documenting. And then there were a, a girl, she just showed me, she had programmed herself back home in JavaScript. So I was uh, a little bit, uh, uh, I, I, th I thought that was really nice. And uh, I asked her, how, how did, you, did you do that? And uh, she had a brother who was a programmer. 
uh, with uh, JavaScript. So he knew JavaScript. So they have done this uh, at home together. And that, that's that's the nice thing with the. Uh, if someone gets involved, they could do anything, I think. So that's oh, just a small project. I, I just wanted to do something more with the microbits, but it, it's so limited time. It's, it's not so funny, I think. And next week, no, the week, after i i'm going to have a workshop with the teachers and uh, with the microbit and i th i think i think my project is going to be something like uh, this one oh he, he, he probably lost his eye <laughs> and there's a uh, inside there's a servo motor so he could actually Oh, and there should be two uh, LEDs in in the those eyes. So maybe maybe if if there's time, we could do like this. I I like I I must admit I like to do things like this. It should be easy. It should be uh, you could do it within a couple of hours. So maybe I don't know. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> That's great. I I don't know who told me about something like this. Just uh, something that came to my mind now. Uh, they made a, a little character that was a coin eater. Have you seen? And. It was with Adorn, Arduino board controlled. I don't know, you know how to do that. And it, when it, it opened the mouth, and when you put the coin inside, the child put this coin inside, it made contact in something inside, and then they move it, and the coin goes down, and so it comes back. I, I thought this idea so, I didn't see, but I thought this idea so great to, to, do, to do with kids. Uh, it's easy for you, I think, to do with the kids. It's, <laughs> no, it, it's, it's more complicated if, if you, have, uh, you have a sensor to uh, sense the coin and then it shuffle its back or... So, I don't know. I don't... I, I, I didn't think it was a sensor. I, I, I think that it was... You, you, you close contact. You, you know, you make the contact in two parts when you put the metal there it it works okay <laughs> I, I i think it works like that i i'm not sure do, <laughs> so it's i think it's not difficult to do it yes mm. but what are you using to 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 make this uh robots are you using scratch are you using something like that for for this one controlling yes the, the your no uh, th this one i had an uh, uh, arduino uh, arduino yeah the, the node uh, what is it called node mcu i think esp uh, but uh, i w it's a, it's more complicated for the younger children so i i should try to do it with the micro bit and it should work fine. But uh, as uh, Alan told us, uh, for it, it, it's not going to be too many cables. That, that's not a good idea. Too many cables uh, always get uh, something in shortcuts and, sh and everything. So I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how how I could. Get it better. <laughs> I, I saw it. I, I saw it on YouTube. I think somewhere. <laughs> okay. Any questions, Sohan King? Would you like to talk something?
Would you like to say something about this project? Yeah. Uh, do you do this kind of things with the, 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 the kids at, in South Korea or only programming? Yes, uh, I think uh, that creation is uh, work for earlier ages, for example, uh, elementary school student or kindergarten student can use uh, that uh, art pack uh, because they like the uh, pet or uh, lovely creation. So that is very uh, attractive for elementary school student or a kindergarten student. Uh, that, that is very cute and, <laughs> and, and funny. So it works for, yes, uh, earlier age students. Yeah. Yes. But, but in Korea, uh, we have a uh, gender issue for boys and like the games and girls like the uh, dolls or animation or music movie clip. So uh, we will try to develop the material for uh, gender issues about gender issues. So, a girl likes uh, you know girls likes the uh, animation. So we develop uh, same same content. For example, uh, selection or uh, loop or um, sequence. Uh, that concepts are uh, uh, reflect uh, representation for uh, about. Uh, animation or game so uh, we developed uh, many materials for educational material for about their gender so we will try to uh, that issue mm. we had we had uh, if if i could say something we had an, uh, a debate in sweden about uh, uh, sexual harassment uh, the you know the uh, hashtag me too it's it's going very big in 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 sweden and uh, in some of the educational systems with the technology there have been uh, a lot of idiotic uh, things that uh, they said to, to the girls oh little girl oh, if you should do the, like this and like that but it, it, i think it's horrible so i'm i'm seeking uh, ways to do everything for for everyone not only for the for the male the the kids uh, to the to the everyone should be involved in technology and uh, programming not only uh, aiming for the the boys so i'm i'm very happy to every everything you could bring on i'm very happy to see how how do we get more girls into stem or technology programming i i think that's essential oh that's just a little shortcut yes you see uh so when king said that this is going to be for all kids all curriculum it's a national program so for male and female kids that's general programming it's it would be a general plan so it's i think it's by now it's the most inclusive way of <laughs> doing something that's having a national plan mandatory plan uh how is it in sweden sorry uh, about uh, the plan or what what did you mean I, I mean, if you have national plans for it, if you're including, uh, so you can uh, mandatory include the, all the children, 
or if you have more uh, special or after school program so and the frequency is higher for uh, the boys not not girls how does it happen so, for example in your classes do you have the same uh, quantity of male and female kids yes uh, how is it what do you see yeah, yeah. In, 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 in the in the classes it, it's always mixed uh, uh, 50 percent kid uh, 50 percent boys and 50 uh, about it's a uh, varying uh, depending on what class but uh, in, in the plan is is uh, it's it's very very much about uh, it should be equal for everyone and uh, the gender it doesn't matter and so on but even if we have the this plan had it for years there's only about uh, 10 15 pr percent going up to high school and the technology program there so why doesn't this appeal to the girls yes but, um, but it has been always uh, like that because when I when I worked as an engineer 20 years ago I met uh, often I met um, uh, Swedish uh, uh, engineers female and they told me that they are 50 and 50 now I saw effectively less uh, females respect uh, at, uh, respect before is this, uh, do you think uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, what happened oh you always been uh, always the female as less uh, in technology or not in change it no i i don't think it's changed it, it it's a little bit changing right in now but i i don't think it's changed a lot only a small, small percent changing. Um, and I ask the kids the, in, in the class now that they are uh, selecting the program for high school uh, and ask them, what are you going to do? And maybe one or maybe two girls in the class was, was aiming for technology program and the other were uh, everything else i mean that's a lot so i, I don't i don't know uh, how how we could do it to to get 50 percent equal system i i don't know she she told me that uh, uh she was an old uh, engineer woman <laughs> not you know. Uh, and she told me, oh, no, in Sweden is so. In my idea, I imagine that this Sweden more uh, open respect. Uh, you know, Italy, we are uh, like Brazil, like uh, Latin America, we are uh, very machist. Uh, Eloisa, how do you say machist uh, countries? No, we consider. Uh, we consider a female always uh, to be uh, under the woman, under the man, no? It's a little yeah. bit that. Sweden is an, a real open country. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it's very equal uh, between the, the genders. So uh, that, that's okay. But I mean, uh, um, there's two less people, two less women going to the, that area, I think. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe it's not my problem, but uh, I think uh, when when the kids are about uh, from from K to K six, that they they are have the same interest. It, if you are a girl or if you are a boy, they have the same interest. Oh, look at this! Wow, it's nice and blah blah blah. But when they are getting a little bit older, it's more this is girl stuff and this is boy stuff. So I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so give me some... What, uh, do you, what do you think, Alan? What happens? What is your opinion about this issue? Uh, it's... 
I'm not really sure. I know here in the States, when I uh, started working, there were a lot more women programmers than there are now. Uh, I have no idea really why that is, but I'm guessing that um, the workplace has not been made very friendly for women. Um, you know, some of the harassment issues, but also just that um, uh, women aren't treated differently, and I think they, they just had enough of it and gave up. I'm not sure why um, women are not going into the, into the STEM field here either. Um, I know that for the Scratch Club that I was hosting, um, actually, I found that the, the girls that were in the club um, were in many ways a lot more creative um, than, than the boys and, and, and did better programming. So um, they seem to have the skills of concentration a lot more. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what the answer is. Um, I think society just has to continually in, encourage everyone to pursue things that, that are of interest to them and to encourage them. I, I think there's a lack of encouragement in some ways for women. And, and that's sad. Hmm. Interesting. So, Wang King, how is it in South Korea? Uh, it's very difficult problems about the gender in Korea is uh, uh, it has traditional uh, traditional in mind uh, for example go or from Chinese uh, from Chinese the mind for example we call it you go so uh, in Korean people Korean people so uh, very straight to our uh, hard hard mind about the uh, gender so that is very difficult and um, important issue in Korea so um, I'm a Christian so gender issue is very critical and important factor so I don't I don't full uh, fully fully expression about the gender in English uh, so <laughs> it's very difficult words for me mm. so maybe maybe the gender issues in English freely yeah maybe someday The language is another problem besides the yes. gender matter. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we, I think we uh, pointed an uh, uh, important thing because we have a common friend called Sophie Nyaza from Cameroon, Africa. Uh, he's in, she's in our group, uh, but she has never presented something to us yet. <laughs> we are <laughs> trying this, but I have been talking to her and following his work for two years now, I think. And she's very, very active in his in her country, mainly because you know in Africa the thing is they have other kind of problems. And you see, even in the United States, that you have more money, you have more equipment, even Swedish, that is a uh, northern country, that this uh, difference between genders is much less, much less than Latin people or Asian people, because traditionally Latin people, even Portugal, Spain, and Italy. Even they are uh, in Italy, their Christian religions culture is more closed and more uh, difficult in this matter. But you see, even Sweden, that, that they have not this kind of problem or of being a Latin country or an African country, 
they have this difficult, this difference. So I wonder if I could say that it's not in, for example, Sweden case, it's not a lack of opportunities for the women, for the girls. It's not lacking, it's not productive, it's not uh, a social issue, but they just don't want after they grow up. Well, Here in Brazil, with the, when you make spread with the small ones, the most of them are girls. And then it, the same happens as they get older, they lose the interest. So, I don't know. Eloisa. Eloisa. Non sento più. Parla, Beatrice. Ah, senti. Parla, parla. No, volevo parla. dire, eh, Eloisa, I want to say that the, the, in Italy, uh, 30 years ago, uh, there was uh, 50% in computer science study, mathematics, no? Mathematics. E after computer study, computer science study. After uh, engineering always has been very uh, lack of uh, women, but uh, mathematics and computer science uh, usually most of uh, teachers are female in Italy. I don't know why uh, at a certain point uh, uh, something happened and uh, maybe the problem, the great problem is uh, the lack of um, fa uh, family. I mean, before we are an, a big family, now it's a nuclear family. Is, uh, so that we can't uh, have the help of um, my grandmother. Grand so for, uh, you, uh, there is uh, many, many, uh, maybe many, many uh, females studying uh, a STEM uh, a subject, but the problem is uh, uh, which work they can do. Uh, with STEM uh, subject, nothing, because um, usually works in a STEM uh, in a, in a subject are very, very, um, imply very um, many hours to, to study and so on, many hours to work. Uh, also, if, in fact, in, in, uh, in Nigeria, I saw sometimes, but I don't remember how to, to find, uh, documentary, documentary, um, documentary, how do you say, film, movie, about uh, how the, how North, uh, Nigerian people are more, are more equal, equality, respect developed country. Uh, in Africa, as I have been more in contact with the people, as Adele from Tunisia uh, and others from Simon from Tanzania, others from Cameroon, others from many countries, different countries in Africa, it's a huge continent and uh, they have so they have so many different uh, among them so each country yeah. is it's a, lo a lot of difference but in general uh, what i we can say they have not only the problem of the social aspects of uh, gender equalities or something like that but they have lack of opportunities because they have less money they have political very serious political problems and so it's much, much more complicated. But even if you analyze it, these countries in Africa, they are very different, so, so, so different among them. But we can see general aspects. Uh, but this, there's this tendency that as the girls get older, <laughs> they, in general, are losing the interest for STEM or computer or engineering, something like that. I, I can see that here in, uh, in Brazil and other South American countries too. I don't know why. <laughs> so, 
So I think we are about finishing it. Uh, I'd like to, to thank you very much for this very rich exchanges of experience and information, this very rich sharing among peers around the world. And I'd like to invite you for the next session when Alan's going to talk about his work, what he has been developing. And that's it. Would you like to say something to finish? We are wrapping up. Anders. <laughs> <laughs> No, no I, I have no no uh, uh, words. <laughs> um, Are you I, happy? I, Did you yes, like the session? I, yeah, yes, I, I, I thought uh, we we were going to have a presentation for a makerspace because uh, I'm trying to to uh, get a makerspace in my little town, uh, but th this conversation it it was. Uh, more I, I think it's it's lovely because we can talk like friends uh, and we can uh, put up a subject and we can talk uh, about that subject and another subject so but uh, maybe we could uh, get into the makerspace another day by maybe i can present uh, my first uh, first meeting with people uh, on on tuesday <laughs> What is okay. that? Oh, uh, yes, Gus just sent me a message now that he had internet problem. He was with no electricity and he's <laughs> only online now. So then I'm going to talk to him and we can reschedule his presentation for sure. It's very interesting what he has to present because he's going to, he started with private schools and now he's applying these ideas, this knowledge he has uh, get from this, this time for uh, indigenous communities. Mm. in Mexico. So it's it's a totally different thing. I think it's very interesting. But we are going to reschedule. I'm sorry for that. But I think we got a lot of very, very good things today. Isn't it so unking? Okay. Thank you. I'm very pleased to know Alan. Yes. And his amazing work. Yes. <laughs> I, I speak and spell out the Korean people's your words. Yeah, yeah. On my Facebook, yeah. I will post your story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm very pleased to know you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Alan, would you like to say something, Beatrice? Well, it was certainly a very enjoyable session. Uh, lots of very interesting topics. Uh, I would have liked to have heard the uh, presentation also, but next time. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. And that is it. Thank you. Say something. Sorry for, for uh, the problem. I hope in December we finish all. Ah, we we present. Uh, I, I I told you I pres we present um, a project in the Mega Fair in Rome. Uh, a project about uh, textile and uh, um, embroidery. Have, have you seen Tarto Stitch? Tarto Stitch. Yes, I've tried it. Yeah, and uh, also they try to work with a, t a tilt brush that you can uh, um, make um, make clothes with tilt brush, and so we we make a project about uh, textile and computer science. The comp the mega space. I, I am I'm, I am here, but I continuously <laughs> stay in touch. 
Okay. Bye. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, Beatrice, sorry. Uh, I, I'd like you to present us the work you, you did at your city with the library, at the library that I have the opportunity to visit to in the yeah. beginning and after that it all set it up and the amazing work you did there. So please show us one day. Yeah? <laughs> My, you know, my English is so bad. I mean, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no problem. We can understand, understand you very well. <laughs> you are Maybe very, very person made. <laughs> Sei molto brava, non c'è problema. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, guys, thank Maybe. you very much. Okay, okay, sorry. Maybe uh, after, not this Friday, but the next Friday, uh, after they make a fair. Because uh, Luca, my husband, and uh, Martino go there. I asked Martino to show the, the Maker Fair to you. I mean, the, it could be, it, it could uh, make a streaming for Make a Fair, but I don't think is uh, you know is uh, too, too young. <laughs> uh, maybe you could uh, tape it using your phone, and then you. In your presentation, you could mention, uh, okay. show something about the Maker Fair, how long it has been happening every year, and then you could show the Martino's okay. project. So it the, would be the 8th great. of December, the 8th. Yes, okay. yes, please, okay. please. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, please, uh, don't, I'll be passionate for my English. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I, I think Alan could understand you. Could you un understand her? Yeah, Alan? perfectly well. And your English <laughs> is much better than my Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you never, you've never studied Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, so, Bye. so, so glad to have you Thank today. You. You. Although we don't have what we have expected, we are always tinkering. Yeah. experimenting trying and so we are always getting the opportunities for learning and sharing and make this link between us among us uh stranger it's more, more it's stranger okay thank you so much thank you bye bye ciao ciao <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs>